Hi everyone and welcome to this review note. In this video we are going to continue configuring routing on our variable length subnet mask example. We configured the head office routing in the first video. In this video we're going to configure routing at the region level. We'll do a couple of different things here. One is we will configure routing between region 2 and the head office. We will also configure routing between region one and the head office at the hub level, and we're going to add in the region LAN. Let's start off with the region two router. Region two is 10.64.0.0 slash 11. And so happens we're going to be taking the very first slash 30 subnet in that network and using that for the link between the region and the head office. Going to configure, in this case, this will be gigabit zero. And we'll configure the IP address and then enable that network interface. Okay, that is now up. If we look at our interface config, we can see the IP address, which is assigned to gigabit zero. Protocol is down at this point in time because we have not configured the other end yet. While we're here though, we'll configure the route to send the traffic to our head office. What we need to say with this route is that we're going to send all corporate traffic that we do not know about within our region. So 10.0.0.0 slash eight up to the head office hub router. That is the IP address that will be on the interface on the hub router at the head office. And that will show up in the routing table once that link is up. Let's go up to the head office hub router and get that configured. All right, first thing we'll do is configure the IP address on gigabit 01. If we look at what we have right now. We've only got the IP address configured from the previous video on interface gigabit two that goes to the head office LAN router. We'll sign our IP address. And we will enable the interface. Now, the other thing that we need to do here is also configure a route to forward all of the region two traffic to the region two hub router. If we look at our routing table at the moment, the only thing we really have here is the route that was configured to send head office LAN traffic to the head office LAN router. Let's add in a static route that will send all of the region two traffic to the region two hub router. The network that we need to target is 10.64.0.0 slash 11. And we're going to send that traffic to the interface on the region two hub router that's connected back to the head office hub router. Now we'll take another look at our routing table. And we can see our route 
to 10.64.0.0/11 is being forwarded down to our region hub. That's all we have to do to configure traffic to flow between a region and our head office. Now, while we're at the head office hub, what we'll do is set up the IP address and also the route in order to send traffic out to the region one hub router. We start by looking at the way IP is configured at the moment. We can see that gigabit zero is unassigned and that is the interface that connects out to our region one hub. We'll go into that interface. Assign an IP address, in this case, region one is 10.32.0.0 slash 11. We're using that very same first slash 30 subnet within the region network to configure the point to point link between the head office hub and the region hub. Bring up the interface. And like we did with region two, we'll configure the static route that will forward all region one traffic to the region one hub router. So the destination network is going to be 10.32.0.0 slash 11. And the destination IP address will be the IP address assigned to the interface on the region one hub router that links back to the head office hub. And once we finish configuring that interface on the region one hub router and bringing that interface up, then that route will activate and be visible in the routing table. Let's go over to our region one hub and we'll configure that up. Okay, here we are in the region one hub router. First thing we'll do is configure up that gigabit zero interface. We'll apply our IP address. And we will enable the interface. Excellent. That is now up. Going to add the route to forward all of our corporate traffic that is not part of the region back to the head office router. Like we did with region two, that means we're going to configure a route for the 10.000 slash eight network. And that will go to the IP address on the interface that connects at the head office hub. And now we should be able to see our IP addresses configured. So here is Ethernet zero, which is connecting back to the head office hub. And if we look in the routing table, we can see that everything on 10.000 slash eight heads back to the head office router. We'll give that a quick test. And we can see that we have successful communications with the interface on the head office LAN router. So that tells us that routing on our regional hub router, along with routing on the head office hub router, is working the way that we want it to. The other thing that we need to do on this router is configure communications up to our regional LAN. If you take a quick look at this connection, we can see that this is on the Gigabit 2 interface. In this particular case, we are using the second 
slash 30 network on the regional network to communicate point to point with the regional land router. I'll configure the IP address. And we'll enable the interface. And in this particular case, the LAN network for the region is 10.32.64.0 slash 20. So I need another route in my routing table that will forward all of the regional LAN traffic up to the regional LAN router. So let's add that in while we're here. There is our slash 20 network, 10.32.64.0. And that is going to go to the IP address on the interface on the region LAN router that connects back to the region hub router. And once we've configured IP and routing on the region LAN router, then those routes will populate and we'll be able to communicate between them. For now, let's go over to the region one LAN router and get that configured. In this case, we're going to be configuring gigabit zero interface. We'll configure the appropriate IP address on the point to point link. And we will enable the interface. And we need to configure routing so that any traffic that is not associated with the regional LAN is going to be forwarded out to the regional hub. Again, we're not going to use a default route in this case because there's a good chance that the region is going to be connected directly to the internet and we will need the default route to take care of that. As you're probably gathering by now, in order to forward all corporate traffic out that is not part of our specific area on the network, we configure a route for 10.0.0.8. And in this case, that's going to go to the interface on the Region 1 hub router that is connected to Region 1 LAN. And if we look at IP configuration and route configuration, we should be all good. We can see our IP address configured on the Gigabit Zero interface. And we can see our static route to 10.000 slash 8 heading out to the regional hub router. Give this a quick test. And once that's gone through a couple of ARPs, we can see that that's successful. So that now is telling us that routing on the regional one LAN router, region one hub router, and also the head office hub router are all behaving the way that we want them to. And that is all we need to configure to get the region up and running. That's a wrap for this video. Hopefully this has been helpful for you, and we'll see you next time.